I just came back from the bed and they told me, you still not that girl. Hey y'all, welcome back. Every now and again, I like to offer a bit of a reminder in the event one of my daily beloveds has gone astray. It happens, I understand. But around these parts, it is irrefutable. We slay. And if there's a particular part of this video you like to skip to, make sure you check the video menu or the description box, but get into this entire meal because it's worth it. Now, Zelina, she's given material girl. Cue that saucy Santana track. This is exactly the vibe that I'm feeling. This flamboyage sand color is perfect. There's so much dimension throughout this entire unit and I'm loving the length. It's perfect for fall and winter. Typical of the Sensational What Lace collection, this is a 13 by six lace frontal, but you do not get nearly as much free parting space around the sides of the unit. The wefts on this unit actually begin about a finger width apart from the start of the hairline. So I really wanted to focus my plucking and tweezing more so on the center of the hairline because on the sides it's just not worth it. I just wanted to create little divots so that the hairline isn't so straight and it looks more realistic. Now naturally after plucking you might think that the next step is to use a comb or a paddle brush but I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just using a small tooth comb to push the hair that we tweezed away from the hairline because I'm not going to pull it all the way through just yet. Keep watching and we're going to talk all about it later. Now, you know, the next part of my routine, I like to take the hot comb and usually I brag about using the back edge of the hot comb, but I'm using much more shallow, very smaller movements where I'm laying the hot comb flat against the hairline's surface. This is really important. I don't want to flip the hot comb upward. I'm laying it flat against the hairline. It makes it super sleek, but again, it's perfect since we have not combed this unit just yet. So it'll make sense in the end, but just, you know, listen to me, stick with me, sis. I know what I'm talking about. With this particular install, neatness is so important. So use those double prong clips, use whatever you need to make sure that you get the best results possible because we're results driven around these parts. And wig prep is important. Use whatever you want to tint your lace, but make sure you tint this lace. This is very much the ashy lace that is signature, a very characteristic of the What Lace collection. So this is nothing new here, but make sure that you go in with a spray of your choice. And I'm using the hardhead spray to set the press powder that I applied in place. And this press powder is by Maybelline Fit Me. Now, would I say this unit is big head friendly? Yes, it is very comfortable. But what you guys are going to see is that this hairline is not long when it doesn't extend enough to match up with my natural hairline. And that's what you find very often with these particular wigs. The ear taps don't come all the way down, but I'm using these gator clips. Now I'm gonna have these in the description box. These are on point. These are everything. I know y'all are gonna run and get these, but they're worth it. But I'm just using these to clip the hair away from my face because we're getting ready to lay this down. I was jamming out to Summer Walker's newest album, Still Over It. Let me just let you know something. If you don't have your routine where your playlist is included, girl, what are you doing? I'm so glad I like waited a bit before I listened to Summer Walker's album because girl, I needed time. Like everybody had their hot takes, but honestly, I just wanted to listen with no influences and I loved it. I actually listened to Summer Walker's Still Over It and then I followed up with Lauren Hill's The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Honey, I was so full. I was jamming all throughout this video. I cut a lot of footage out because I was going crazy. Damn, yo, you gotta find the perfect playlist as you're getting ready because it's just everything. But also, did you guys listen to her album? What are your thoughts? Because I'm curious, I loved it. Now for the sides, you guys know I always use the Got To Be Invincible Styling Gel. Some people think this is a glue. I'm not sure why, perhaps the brand name is a little bit misleading, but of course, leave it to me to clarify some things. This is a gel. It is not in any way a glue. It doesn't even adhere or have the staying power of a glue or an adhesive. And I like to use the gel in conjunction with the hard head spray, especially on the sides, cause it'll allow it to last a little bit longer. But again, this is not glue. Please be not confused. All right, let me help you. Y'all know I'm gonna always rhyme a little bit, but I put on my elastic band, which I'll have linked below because this one is the truth. The other ones do not play with them. They are not that girl. Now, after about five minutes of allowing the elastic band to set, I went in to do my adult swoops, okay? Y'all know, real, real simple with me. 
I don't do too much. Now I was trying to be adventurous, okay? Being a little adventurous, trying to, you know, change up the way I cut my hairs, how I swoop them. And this just let me know, like Bryce until it said, keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I have been doing things a certain way. I don't need to switch it up, okay? I don't need to switch it up. When you guys are watching these videos, I record this with a DSLR camera. And so there's no filter. The only editing I do is color correction. Okay, color correction so that I have a complexion that is consistent with real life and natural lighting. That's it. So you guys can see close up how that hairline looks, how that lace is melted. But yeah, like y'all already know, the way these wigs look in pictures, it looks the same in person. To be honest, people be shocked because they look that damn good in person. Like, okay, I slay these wigs. I lay these wigs. I don't play about these wigs, okay? I'm not the one, two, or the three. And I think most of y'all know that, and I appreciate y'all. So drop down in the comments if you appreciate the slay and give this video a thumbs up while we're at it. But also, we still have not combed this wig because we got to get the hairline together and I got to beat my face. Now, I hate when people try to act like synthetic units don't tangle or shed. They're going to do all of the following, like all of the above, because it's synthetic. Get you a good paddle brush and gently comb through the hair, starting with the ends, working your way upward. Now, I expect to have a lot of shed hair because I tweezed this unit, so I'm pulling out what I tweezed. Now, I was fairly impressed because there wasn't excessive shedding, but at the same time, if you are someone who's gonna sleep in your wig like I did because I'm on my fourth day with this wig and I've slept on it, sometimes with a bonnet, sometimes without, and she still recovers, but you need to comb her, starting from the ends, working your way upward towards the wefts. But also, should I cut her? Cause I was looking at her and I'm like, she might be bomb if I cut her like to like a little bit lower than a shoulder length. Cause I see the potential, but y'all can let me know. And of course I'm always gonna do a side part and it's gonna be a left side part. And with the hardhead spray far away from the hair, I'm gonna lightly mist it because I want that height, but I also want the flip over. You guys know like I'm such a fan. And if you feel like you've added too much of the hairspray, just use a touch of water to break the product down. Again, this is not something I would do every day if I'm wearing this for an entire week. Don't overload the hair with product, it's synthetic. It's not gonna absorb, sis. It's just gonna sit right on the top layer unless you decide to wash it, which I recommend. And I wash my synthetic wigs all the time. So if I were to cut her, girl, I'm gonna wash her and cut her. And honestly, you get better wear and longer wear out of each unit when you wash it. But I would be anxious to see how the curls last. But again, I'm probably gonna cut her. Now, once you use the back edge of the hot comb on the parting space, it opens things up. But then when you add the pressed powder, it just makes it look so much more realistic. Again, you flatten it out using the heat from the hot comb. And again, it looks super good. I think that this is honestly going to be my look for Thanksgiving. I don't know. I think I'm curious. I might slay this with like either a dark brown lip or a deep burgundy lip or maybe a neutral lip like I did for the intro. But girl, she's giving. She's giving, honey. I stepped out, had dinner. It was a bomb vibe. I'm telling you, I already bought um, two more. So in case y'all run this up, I'm ready. See, sometimes I be slipping and tripping and I don't need to do that no more because I know y'all, my supporters, my viewers, y'all are very active. And thank you so much for the support. Be sure to subscribe, turn your post notifications on, give the video a thumbs up. Meet me in the comment section and give me the key key on Summer Walkers, Still Over It, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. If you want to, I see y'all in the back, my oldies but goodies, but I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.